What's up guys, Spencer here, back doing another YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Uh, first off, I want to thank you guys for a heck of a last year um, supporting me through my YouTube channel. Um, lots of new subscribers, fans, uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, watching this stuff. Hopefully it helps you guys out with um, tips, um, track, track help, car setup, tire setup, um, whatever it may be. So I appreciate you guys um, giving me a subscribe. Um, like on the video is always uh, appreciated. And um, for today's video, we're gonna be talking about the sidewall bands for the new J-Concept Smoothie 2 truck tires. Obviously, there's been some questions with the sidewall bands not fitting in the Smoothie 2 truck tires because of the dramatic size difference. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what I do with some trimming, with some scissors, and showing you how I, I place them in the tire um, to have nice proper fitment when the foam's um, installed in the tire. So, um, first off, I'm going to get my sidewall band out and um, start to cut here. So with the, what you see here, you see a bunch of ribs. What I like to do is uh, cut the ribs, cut it completely straight, and then I take about um, five ribs completely off. So one, two, three, four, five, and then I cut after the fifth. What I'll do there, and then glue the edge of the band, and then I'll just connect the two together. So that basically just takes off a layer of, um, of the band to make it smaller completely. Um, I would let this dry normally for a few moments, but I already have one completely done. Um, so the other part that you see this is I actually made the inner diameter a little bit smaller. And what we will do is I'll show you how much I take off here. We'll just kind of circulate the inside all the way around just to take the little bit of the inner off so this doesn't interfere with the foam. So as you can see here, this is just the inner core diameter that I took off. This is what it looks like when it's done. And we'll kind of change the camera to a different position so I can show you guys how I mount it in the tire. Um, obviously I have these two tire, this one tire cut in half just to show you guys how the proper placement it is. It just shows you guys easier over camera. Um, obviously I'm putting it, installing it into a, a proper tire, um, but we'll get Hannah over here and um, show you a little bit in, in, in more depth. Alrighty guys, so now that I got the, the tire bin, um, obviously I'm showing you guys the proper placement of the tire bin. Um, of what I prefer when it goes into the, the truck tire. As you can see, since I cut the inner side, it kind of fits over the, the, inner, um, the inner of the tire where like, the tire actually mounts to the, the wheel. And obviously, you can't put your finger in the actual tire once it's all mounted, so I like to use a 1.5. And what I'll do is I'll just start like placing it around in there on the top edges. And then for key things that I look at for when I think the, the um, sidewall bend for, is per, properly placed in the tire is you see here that there is the inner basically webbing on the tire is I like to basically fold the band underneath that as a holding pattern for the band all the way around the tire. As you can see, it's like kind of snapping in place nicely. And now that the inner bead is complete, the, or the outside bead of the band is tucked in from the inner webbing of the truck tire, I'll take my glue and glue that all the way around. And that's all I do for the glue part. I don't glue the inner the inner part of the sidewall band, only the outer part. 
and then I'll let that dry for about 10 or 15 minutes and then you can start to mount. Um, obviously, the way that everyone will do this, you're not gonna have the ability to do it with a half a tire, but I like to just set it in there. I'll use my 1.5. You can able to look in the slot and then fold the tire bead. Same way that as I explain all the way around <laughs> to the top of the band sits in there and then again glue the only the only top part of it all the way around and that's about it the other part that I want to show you guys is now that the, the foam the foam sits in there, that inner bead that I cut off, this extra material, the foam sits so much nicer on the inner bead and it makes it a lot easier to glue and fit nicely on the wheel. So that's kind of the main reason why I take off this inner bead. It sits more flush with the actual tire itself and just makes it for tire gluing a whole lot easier. So that's about it.